here, welcome to your evening class. I'm going to do a lovely yin practice this evening. Still focusing on the breath, but focusing a little bit longer on stretching, holding, and how we can integrate that breath to relax the body more. Okay, so we're going to start on our back. If anyone's just joined, please make sure you've got two pillows for the class. Okay, beginning on our back. And then just draw those pillows to the side of the feet and then let the soles touch, the knees draw out to the side, Supta Valakonasana, laying on the back, hands resting on the tummy, or they can rest above the shoulder, grabbing opposite elbow, whichever position you want to go into to start. Now those pillows are there to support the knees, feeling that gentle stretch through the inner thighs. And then begin, then begin to close down the eyelids, Breathing in and out through the nose. So we're centering that breath off, starting with our pranayama practice, the breath work. Inhales through the nose, exhales through the nose. And then just start to notice all the muscles in your face beginning to relax. And then moving down through the shoulders, the neck, the upper back. Noticing the inhalation, the rise of the chest. And the exhalation, the lowering of the chest. Good, moving down the arms, the lower back, the hip. The inner thighs everywhere, relaxing, softening. You're in a still state right now. Drawing that breath in. Sending the breath away. And like I said, closing the eyes really helps you draw your awareness into your body. Feel and experience that breath. Notice if it becomes heavier, deeper, perhaps louder. Moving down the legs soles of the feet and the toes, and just feel your whole body relax. Taking three more breaths. Try to bring that breath into the belly, expanding the belly. Diaphragmatic breathing. So we're sending the breath further away from the rib cage. You want to breathe through the diaphragmatic breathing rhythm. And just before that final breath, relax the muscles in your forehead, your cheek, and your jaw. Good. On your next inhale, keep the eyes closed. Draw the knees together. Big squeeze into the heart space. So lifting the knees into the chest. Big squeeze, hugging the body. And then, Jen, you can blink the eyes open, looking up to the ceiling. Extend that left leg up to the ceiling. Flex the foot. Notice that stretch in the left calf and potentially the lower part of your hamstring. Keep your right knee tucked in. And then gently extend that left leg down to the floor. Relax the foot. And then hug that right knee into the chest. A couple of rocks or circles side to side. Try to keep your back completely still on the mat. So you're just activating that side of the hip. And then gently change direction if we're drawing some circles. Good. And with your left hand, let's reach for that pillow to the side. Place it beside the left hip. Take a big inhale. And then gently exhale. Let's rotate that right knee across the body. Place it on the pillow to the side. Supine twist. Look to the opposite side of where that knee has traveled to. Keep that hand on the outside of the knee. If you're finding this a little bit uncomfortable, just push that pillow further down the outside of the leg so you can twist a little bit deeper. I want you to close the eyes now. Focus on softening your shoulders, drawing them down to the ground. Good, feel that twist through the thoracic spine. Take three more breaths. Good, one more breath. 
Gently come back to inhale, squeeze into center. But gently come back to center, take the inhale. Good, and then exhale, let's extend the right leg to the sky. Flex the toes, keep the foot flat. Imagine you're balancing your kickboard on top of that foot. Feel the stretch through that calf. Lovely, take a big breath in. Exhale, drop the ankle down to the floor. Keep that left knee tucked in now. Notice the difference on this side of the hip. Small rocks left to right or gentle circles in one direction to start with. Again, focus on your back staying flat. Notice the shoulder blades pressing into the floor. Notice the lower part of your spine. Keep that pelvis nice and still, just moving the left side and then changing direction. Feel that lovely hip compression as we squeeze and tuck the knee in. And then as we send the knee further away from the body, that gentle release. Reach with your right hand to that pillow on the side. Find a position where it feels good and then take a big inhale. Squeeze the left knee in, exhale, supine twist. Gently rock over to the side. Let, notice the knee settling onto that pillow to the side. Reach the left arm out, find that twist. Again, if you need to recenter that pillow, move it down further away from the body. And just relax your shoulders. We're softening the body to start with. Gently twisting through that spine. Imagine you're getting your, your swim costume or swim trunks out of um, the washing machine. You know, they're dripping with water. You're gently squeezing them and twisting them, getting all that excess water out before they can dry off. Think of that same sort of movement with the spine here. Bring lots of mobility. Good, back to center on your next inhale. Place both feet on the floor, arms above the head. We're gently going to rock the knees to the left and then to the right. Good. Feel that lower spine lengthening. Feel your tummy muscles lengthening as well. Good. In three, keep it going, everybody. In two, nice. In one, let's bring those knees into the chest. Happy baby. Grab the inside of your feet. Pull them as wide as you can. And then focus on your shoulders. If this is quite tough and you're keeping the shoulders lifted and the chin tucked in, just draw those feet further away and grab the ankle. Otherwise, keep hold of the foot and then gently, gently drop the back of the head down to the floor. And stay nice and still here for three breaths. And just focus on that inner thigh, stretch the groin and the lower back. Might be feeling a little bit tight right now, but at the promise you at the end of class, you're going to be feeling lovely and relaxed lengthening out as we go. Take one more breath here. Good, and then slowly place the feet down to the floor. We're going to lift up the hips into a hip bridge and take the pillows underneath the bottom and the lower back. So if you want one pillow, stop with that. Otherwise, if you can get two pillows underneath the lower back, keep them nice and still, then gently extend one ankle to the floor and then the other. So we're into an upside down, hips are raised position. Keep the back of your head into the floor. Maybe tuck the chin into the chest a little bit and then bring the hands to cover over the tummy. Good, breathe here for three. In and out through the breath. For two, kind of a feeling where the hips are hovering, floating away from the floor, feeling that support of your pillow. One more breath. Gently arching that spine. Lovely, let's bring those feet back into the floor, place them down. Take an inhale, lift up the hips, squeeze the bottom, remove those pillows very gently, and then begin to roll down that spine from the middle to the base, and then draw the knees into the chest. Nice work. Good, let's extend those legs long. So we're lying flat, reach the arms above your head, squeeze the ears, and then begin to lift the chest and the chin off the floor. Look at the toes at the back of the mat in three. Hold that streamlined position. Focus on pushing that lower spine into the floor. You might be shaking a bit in the core, that's good. In two, lovely. In one, release the back of the head down, relax the arms. Good, reach them round beside the hip, Take them underneath the bottom. So you're adding a little bit of a raise here. Let's lift those feet off the floor. Good, hold it here in three. Nice, can we begin to kick the ankle? 
Good, in two now, focus on that lower spine, press it down to the floor. In one, lovely, drop the ankles down, release the hands. We're gonna combine those two moves here. When you're ready, let's lift up the shoulders, look at those toes, push that lower spine into the floor, begin to kick in 10, nine, keep it going, eight, streamline hold, seven, six, nice everybody, in five, four, three, two, in one, relax. Whew, nice work. Bring the right knee back into your chest and we're gonna hold here for five breaths. Feel the hip compression, relax your shoulders. Four breaths. Deep inhales and exhales. Three breaths. Again, focus on closing your eyes. Focusing on that awareness within the body. Two breaths. Good, last breath. And gently switch the feet out. So extend that left leg. So extend the right leg, squeeze the left knee in. Five breaths here. Good, four breaths. Three breaths. Feel that hip compression. If you feel the release, pull it closer. Last breath. Lovely. Bring both knees into your chest. Rock up and down the spine. Find yourself in a nice seated position. Good. Once you found that seated position, cross the ankles. Reach the arms forwards. Good, maybe touching the floor, maybe bring the elbows down to, down to the ground as well. And then with the head, draw the head in, tuck the chin and breathe. You should feel really good in the outer hip region, our hip abductors. You want to stretch those arms a little bit further forwards. Go ahead and do that too. Nice, everybody, in three. Breathe into that stretch. In two. Lovely. In one, gently roll up the spine. Take the arms above the head, take a big inhale. Bring back to heart center, exhale. Good, plant the hands down. Swivel into tabletop position. We're gonna be needing our pillows to so bring them to the front of the mat. Nice, simple twist, left hand to the ceiling, take an inhale. Gently thread the needle, exhale. Left shoulder and cheek down. Nice, with your right elbow, let's make sure it faces the ceiling, 90 degree bend. Take an inhale, reach up, simple twist. Exhale, thread the needle. Good, one more time, inhale, reach up high. Exhale, thread the needle, lovely. Staying here with your right hand, let's reach it up onto the pillow, which is in front. You're feeling a gentle collapse in that upper shoulder, the right shoulder. Then bring the forehead into center. Big stretch on that right side. You might feel the stretch in the left shoulder as well. Breathe through it. In three. Nice, everybody. Notice the difference. The arm is raised. In two. Good. In one, push back to center. Tabletop, swing the left hand to the ceiling. Inhale, simple twist. Switch side, good. Exhale, right shoulder down, right cheek to the floor. Inhale, simple twist. Good, exhale, right shoulder and cheek down. One more time when you're ready, inhale. Big reach and twist, exhale. And then when you're ready, reach the left arm forwards, place it on the pillow, draw that forehead to the center. Feel that left shoulder in that reach through the lateral dorsi, through the armpit. Feel that gentle compression. Now focus on keeping your right shoulder down to the floor. Might feel quite tricky here. Take two more breaths. One more breath. Nice. Slowly push up to tabletop. 
Keep the pillows in front, tuck the toes, push the hips back, downward facing dog. Good, heel tap the floor with the, with the heels. Look through that ankle space. Focus on the shoulders, push the shoulders away from the ears. Take an inhale, look forwards to your hands. Exhale, walk forwards to the wrists. Rag doll pose, grabbing the elbows. Just hanging out here for a couple of moments. Add a little bit of a rock left to right. Keep the chin tucked into the chest. Feel that stretch down the back of your legs, really opening up that spine. Play around with the weight in your feet. Maybe draw a few circles, shifting that weight around. Forwards, right, backwards. Or maybe shift that weight forwards into the toes, backwards into the heels. Just play around with that. As you do this, your shoulders are going to relax a little bit more. Your neck muscles are going to feel the weight of your head. The gravity is pulling the upper body closer to the floor. Feeling the whole spine unwinding. Good. Take two more breaths here. You're also going to feel a bit of pressure building up in that head. That is normal. We're in an inversion position where the head is lower than the heart. Last breath. Good, release your hands to the floor. Step back with the left leg into a low lunge position. So left leg steps back. Come into a bend with the front right knee and then drop that left knee down to the floor very gently. Nice, everybody. Bring the hands under the shoulder. Breathe here. You can add the pillows underneath the shoulders for a little bit more support. Good, so just let those elbows relax, rest into this position. Into our lizard lunge, we're gonna walk the foot out to the side a couple of inches. Good, now take it very gently. We're at the beginning of this pose. Nice, everybody. Take a few deep breaths in and out. If you want to go a little bit deeper, just scoot that back knee towards the back of the room, ever so slightly. Good, breathe into that stretch. Taking one more breath. Feel that support of your pillows there to help you in this pose. Nice job. Slowly lift up the chest, press the hands into the pillow, lift the chin and look forwards, focusing on pushing the hips forward to the front. Lovely. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, I want you to push the hips backwards, straighten that right leg out. Keep those hands on the pillow if you can. Take an inhale, re-bend, lift that chin, look up. Exhale, push the hips backwards, raise that left toe or the right toes up. Lovely, one more time. Inhale, re-bend into that front knee, lift the chin, look up. Exhale, push the hips backwards. Good, balancing here. Now you can remove the hands. You can bring them in line with the shoulders or you can bring the pillows in line again, maybe lower down a little bit deeper. So you're balancing on that right heel here, toes pointing up. Take three more breaths. Nice work, everybody. Two more breaths. Good, last breath. Lovely, let's press the hands into the pillow. Swivel that right knee backwards. Come into our um, camel pose, so the hands are on the hips. Good, reach the arms up, take an inhale. Exhale, hands back to the mat. Step that left foot forwards, other side now, it's that low lunge. So make sure that knee is in line with the front ankle. Use the pillows, gently rest the elbows down, lowering as we go. Now, if that's too much in the hip right now, add another pillow or keep the hands on top, just lifting that chest up slightly. If you can just scoot that back knee an inch back or a centimeter back, just add a little bit more range of motion there. Good, look down towards the floor, keep the chin tucked in, breathe through the stretch. As you do this, you might feel a little bit tighter on one side. Maybe beginning to feel the difference or perhaps the similarity as we move through some of our stretches here. So as we hold the stretch for a little bit longer than we would usually in a cool down, 
okay? We're working into that myofascial release within the muscle and around the muscle that often keeps us feeling quite tense from time to time. Good, take one more breath here. Well done, everybody. Nice, and then slowly lift the chin, press the hands into the pillow. When you're ready, let's exhale, push the hips backwards, lift the heel, sorry, lift the toes off the floor. I'm gonna move my pillow so you can see what I'm doing. Take an inhale, rebend. Good, exhale, push back with the hip. Notice that heel is still on the floor, toes are pointing up. One more time, inhale, bend into that left knee. Exhale, push the hips backwards. We're holding it on this side now, left leg. Again, grab hold of those pillows. Use them to support. Lower the elbows down, breathe into it. Nice job, everybody. Working into our hamstrings here. The top of the calf, the lower back, the upper spine. Good. Taking your time. All styles of yoga are beneficial for the body, especially this one where we get to work into the muscle groups, isolate and just take our time, be a little bit more controlled. Mobility isn't just for now, no matter what age you are, but it's for you in 10 years time, 20 years time. Good, press the hands into the pillow, lift the chin and chest, swivel that left knee backwards. And then we're gonna come into our downward facing dog, remove the pillows from the side now. Tuck the toes, press the hips up, downward facing dog. Nice work. Take an inhale, lift your right leg to the sky, bend the right knee, bring the right heel to the bottom, and then find your scorpion dog. So we're stacking the right hip over the left. Look under your right shoulder. Good. Now with that left heel, <clears throat> let's press that left heel closer to the floor. Take two more breaths. Last breath. Good, place the right foot down. Let's swing that left leg up. Take an inhale, point the toes up. Exhale, heel to bottom, bend the left leg and then stack the left hip over the right hip. Ooh. Look under your left shoulder. I'm sliding on my mat today, not normal. Good, take two more breaths. Push that right heel close to the floor. Good, come back to center, place the left foot down. Take an inhale, right leg to the ceiling. Exhale, coming into pigeon. So that left foot over to the left, sorry, right foot over to the left, left wrist. Good, and bring your right, heel, um, your right knee to your right wrist. Good, we're gonna use those pillows again, everybody. Let's swing them to the front. So from here, I want you to lift the chin and chest, take an inhale. This might be enough for you. If not, we can lower down the elbows onto the pillows here. Now with your right bottom cheek, if your right bottom cheek is touching the floor, I want you to take one pillow and place it underneath that bottom cheek. What this will do is help your hips stay square. Okay, we're not going to overcompensate that stretch. And then gently lower down to the elbows and breathe through it. If you've got any sore knees, take it very gently. Maybe just keep your hands on the floor, not lowering down to the elbows. This is pigeon pose. Nice job, everybody. Take a few breaths here. It's a big release for the hip, hip abductor, psoas muscle, TFL. Good. Nice, and just focus on where your, where your mind is going. We're taking that awareness to our breath and to the stretch, to the pose, to the asana. Take one more breath. Good, listen carefully. Remove the pillow if you've placed it behind your right bottom cheek. Once you've done that, I want you to lower your right bottom cheek to the floor, swing both legs into the front. Good. Reach the arms up, swip, scoop the fleshy part of your bottom to the back of the mat. Point those toes up, lovely everybody. Take an inhale, who knows what's next? Exhale, let's reach forwards, good job. Hashinotanasana, chin into chest. 
Take five breaths, we're gonna reach back up, inhale. Exhale, reach forwards. Good, so in time, as you become more flexible in the back of your legs, your hamstrings, which we just focused on, you'll be able to reach for the toes. I see some of you already there. Lovely, inhale, reach up. Exhale, we've got two more breaths. Focus on flattening the spine. So try to keep that spine nice and flat and draw those elbows down to the floor. Nice, last two, inhale. Exhale. Good job, everybody. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Good. From here, let's bring the right foot to the left inner thigh. Seated figure four. We're going to be using one pillow now. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach for the left toe. Then take your right hand. Place it on the right knee. Push that knee close to the floor. Good, everybody. Nice, and three. In two, so you should be feeling two stretches going on here, hopefully. The back of the left leg, and also the outer right hip. Lovely, take an inhale, straighten the legs out, and switch positions. Left foot to inner right knee. Place the foot, uh, place the pillow over the shin, take an inhale, reach up, exhale, reach to the toes, left hand on left knee, push that knee to the ground. Good, so encouraging that side of the hip to open the stretch as we reach forwards with the opposite leg. Nice work, everybody. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, slowly lift up, stack the shoulders over the hips. Let's swivel both feet to the back of the mat, tabletop position. Take an inhale, hover the knees off the floor, stretch through the tiptoes in three, hands under shoulders in two. Good, downward facing dog on one. Gaze through the ankles. Take an inhale, lift the left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot to right wrist. Drop the left knee down. Good, coming into pigeon on the other side. Now, if you can see me, notice that my heel is actually really close to, close to my hip and my groin. Now, some people may be able to have the lower leg parallel to the short edge of the mat, okay? But it's not really possible for me, and it may not be possible for you. If you are there and you've got that mobility in the knee, awesome. If you're not there, just listen to your body. Take the left and take a pillow, place it under the left bottom cheek again if you did it on the other side, let's do it here as well. Reach for that other pillow, send it to the front of the mat. When you're ready, hands under shoulders, lift the chin and chest, inhale, exhale, gently soften down to pigeon on the other side. Nice work, everyone. This is the chance to let your body unwind and relax, taking a particular focus into the leg and the hips this evening or whenever you're practicing. Good, and just focus again on that stretch, the sensations that you're feeling. Noticing how the breath perhaps get, gets longer and deeper. Notice if you begin to clench the jaw. A stretch shouldn't feel too uncomfortable. It should feel like it's doing something but also that you can hang out there for a little bit longer than normal. Good, one more breath. Remove that left pillow from the side, reach it towards the front. Let's bring our left bottom cheek down to the floor and extend that left leg out to the side. Wide leg fold here. So on the long edge of our mat, let's bring those pillows in front. Good. Flex the toes up to the ceiling, reach the arms up, take an inhale. We're gonna to go to the side here, our lateral stretch. Left hand, reach for the inside of the left foot. If you can reach for the inside, let's hold it there. With the right arm, reach up and over. Keep those toes pointing to the ceiling, everybody. This is gently externally rotating the hip back and up in three. Feel that long right side body opening up here in two. 
Good, into center in one, lovely. Hands above the head, relax the toes. Give them a little, little bit of a shake. Point and flex. Good, point the toes up. Notice how that pulls the hip up and back. Yeah, if we flex the toes and relax the legs, the legs draw inward. Yeah, if we point the toes up, pulls the hip up and back. Any breast strokers here, it should feel really good for you. Take an inhale. Let's reach our right hand to the inside of the foot on the right. Once we've got hold of the foot, let's lift the up, left arm up and over. Find that twist through the spine in three. Reach over as far as you can to the right. Imagine you can pat your head, so palm facing down. There we go, in two. Nice job, everybody. In one, back to centre, take a big inhale, wiggle to the top. Exhale, forwards over to the pillows, relax the toes once you touch those pillows. So again, readjust if you need to bring them closer to the body and then gently lean over. If you feel more supported with grabbing hold of the toes, reach out to the toes and then bring the forehead down or the cheek to the pillow. Just imagine hanging out here for about five rounds of breath. And if you're holding on to tension in your kneecaps, if you're squeezing the kneecaps, let's relax all that area. Notice what happens. Everything switches off a little bit better. Good. If you can't reach for those tones, grab the ankle or shin. I should have said that, sorry. <laughs> and then if we were looking to one side, let's change the position of the head to the other. Five more breaths. Last two breaths. Good, gently lift up your chest, stack your shoulders over your hip, let's swivel the pillows to the side, swivel the legs to the back of the mat, big toes touching, knees out wide, child's pose. So we're gonna reach forwards, all the way to the front of the mat, and then draw that forehead down to the floor, Feel the inner thighs, the length in the lats, the weight of your head, reach and roll. Take five long breaths here. Four deep breaths. Walk those hands a little further forwards if we need a bit more stretch in the upper body. Notice if your elbows are touching the floor or whether they're lifted. Notice if the arms are at shoulder distance apart or if they're out wide. Maybe you can gaze down at the big toes and see them underneath the chest. Last breath. Gently walk the hands to the right. Feel the left side body opening up here. Nice job, everyone. Two more breaths. One more breath. Good, and then over to the other side, left side body reach, forehead down to the mat. Nice work. Good, relax the shoulders. Relax the muscles in your neck. Feeling that inner thigh stretch getting very strong right now. Breathing through it, two more breaths. Nice job, everybody. Slowly rise up to a nice tabletop position. Good job. So from here, we're gonna take the right foot backwards, place the ankle as close to the floor as you can. Feel that stretch through the outside and the back of that right leg. In three, keep the hands rooted into the floor. In two, lovely. In one, let's change positions. Left 
leg extend it back push the toes into the floor maybe push the heel down in three good in two lovely in one and then slowly lower down all the way to the floor. Find me a low push up all the way down. Good, reach the arms behind your back, interlace the fingers, and then pull the chest away from the floor. Good, in five. In four, can you float those feet off the ground for me? In three, squeezing the bottom. In two, lovely job. In one, left cheek to the floor, arms stay by beside you, and then just bend those legs. Gently wind from right to left. Feel that lovely self massage along the quads, the quadricep muscles on the top of the leg. Change cheeks if we're looking to the other side. Focus on that breath again. Where's it gone? Maybe it's got deeper. Nice job, bring the hands under the shoulders, push the toes together. Take an inhale, let's extend those arms as fully as we can. Extend a cobra pose in three. So we're feeling that flexion in our lower spine. Let's try to push the shoulders to the back of the room now. Good, away from the ears in two. Now from here, everybody, I don't want you to overextend that head up and back. We're not trying to flex the upper neck right now, okay? Just keep the gaze forward, chin parallel to the floor. Two, lovely. In one, lower that chest to the ground. Keep those elbows tucked in. One more extension. So let's reach those arms forward, just like we started class, but we're on our fronts now. So we're gonna squeeze the ears, lift the chest off the ground. In five, in four, just the chest. In three, arms nice and long. In two, good. In one, release the hands and the head down. Lift up those legs, push the ankles together. Squeeze the bottom in three. Nice, everybody, in two. Good, in one, release the feet down, both together now. Lots of lower back muscle work here. Let's lift up and hold. Streamline position, let's flutter those feet if we can. In five. Good, in four. Nice, in three. In two. And one, good job, hands under shoulders. Push yourself up to an extended puppy pose. Toes tucked, hips high, arms long. Take one breath here, inhale. Exhale. Slowly make your way to lie on the back. Nice work, everybody. Bring the knees into the chest. Rock up and down the spine, maybe wiggle from left to right with the knees. Good, just to feel how that body feels nice and open, mobile and relaxed. Let's take ourselves back to center with our knees. Take the right foot on the left knee. Uh, lay down figure four. Now from here, this might be enough. Otherwise, let's reach for the hamstring. Pull the foot off the floor and extend that left leg up to the ceiling. Then re-bend in. Nice, pull that knee as close as you can to the chest in five. In four, notice your right elbow pushing into the inner right knee. In three, good. In two, and one. Let's switch to the other side. Left foot to right knee. Feel the hip opening on the side. And then reach for the hamstring on the right leg. Pull the leg off the floor, foot off the floor. Extend that right leg first to begin with. Flex the toes. And then gently pull the knees into the chest. Nice, everybody. Gazing up to the ceiling, left elbow pushing into the left inner thigh. Lovely, in one, send the feet to the ground. Option to use pillows for this pose, or no pillows, back to our Supdivada Kanasana. So send them on the side of the knee, press the feet together, hands on the tummy, relax your shoulders, relax your breath. Close down the eyes. Take three breaths. You may not feel anything with the pillows right now because we've worked into the inner thighs and the lower back. So maybe remove the pillows or just keep them there. Up to you. Taking one more breath after this.
Lovely, let's remove the pillows to the back of the mat. Use your hands to push them to the back of the mat, all the way down to where our toes are. And gently extend those legs out long into your Shavasana pose. Hands can stay on the tummy. Just letting the body settle right here, right now. Any other movements you want to do, wiggle from side to side. So this is a really thorough recovery and mobility yoga flow that we practice this evening, or again, whenever you're practicing this class. Take three deep breaths now. Two deep breaths. One more deep breath. And now let your breath flow more freely. We're gonna focus on the top of the body moving down to the toes. So start to relax the forehead, your cheek muscles, the muscles in your neck, upper back and shoulders, relaxing your jaw, separating the two layers of your teeth. And then moving down the upper arms, your triceps, your biceps, your forearms, the palms of your hands, relaxing your fingers, the mid thoracic back, your lower lumbar back. And then begin to relax all the muscles in your tummy, your abdominal muscles. Moving into your pelvis, your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads, big muscle groups within the body. And then gently trickling down the back of our legs, our calves, the soles of the feet, the toes. Feeling that lovely wave of relaxation. Tapping into each and every muscle within the body now. Regain that awareness with your breathing. It really helps when we stay with the eyes closed in stillness. Being present with your body for these final few moments. And then slowly, let's reach our arms up, find a long body stretch, pointing the toes to the back of the room, reaching the arms all the way to the front. And then slowly make your way to a nice seated position, taking your time. Once we've found our seated position, let's take the hands to the side, take an inhale, reach one arm up and over, find that lateral stretch. Good, now as we're reaching down, imagine you can pat the head so the arm is in the right position and then gently push that elbow back and behind. Reach long in three, good. Lift the head up slightly, everybody. In two, lovely. In one, let's draw a semicircle all the way to the other side. Good, right hand down, float the left arm up. Pat the head, check the hand is in the right position. And then gently lift the elbow back in three. Reach that arm, feel that stretch through the lats in two. Lovely, in one, come back to stillness, hands resting on the knees. We're gonna gently drop the ear to the side. All the way down, feel that stretch through the other side of our neck. Nice. Big circles in the head in three. Feel any clicks, releasing of air in the vertebrae in two. Someone once said it sounds a bit like eating Cocoa Pops or Rice Krispies in the morning. It's a good analogy. On one, bring the other side ear down to the shoulder. Keep the hands on the knees, everybody. Feel that stretch on the other side. Good. One more breath. And then rotate the head back and around in the other direction. Wiggling out any other niggles which we need to before the rest of the evening in three. 
in two, don't worry how you look, just focus on how it feels in one. Good, reach those arms above us, take a big inhale, clap the hands together, exhale down through heart center. Good job everybody, well done this evening. Thank you all for joining class, as always, namaste. Well done. Good job, everybody.